Max, it's awful. I'm distraught. What do I do? It's all ruined. And it's all your fault. You. I'm about to die from fear. Why aren't you replying? You always do this. You're never around when I need you. What do I do? Oh, for heaven's sake, what was all that drama? What happened? All that drama? Are you going to reprimand me even now? Obviously not. It's just that you wrote so much and yet said so little. I don't understand what's going on. So it's my fault. What is your fault? Everything's my fault. In your world, I'm always to blame. Sophia, pull yourself together. No, you pull yourself together. And don't you dare speak to me like that ever again. Ever again. Listen to yourself. You're freaking out. Just take a deep breath and tell me what happened. All right. I'm sorry, I think my emotions is just too much for me to handle. I'm an idiot. Keep breathing. What happened? I think I calmed down. Thank God. Talk to me. Mia disappeared. Ran away. Our dog vanished and I cannot find her. She vanished? But you weren't planning on going anywhere. I walked her this morning. I told you that. Max, listen to me. Mia ran for me on the train. Uh, what? Did you forget how to read? What bloody train? A train on wheels, Max. Your regular old train. The train that would take me far away from you. Far away from me? Is that some kind of joke? Max, our relationship is not, um, how I want my relationship to be. So I decided that we need a break. What break? What does that, what does all that even mean? I cannot be with a person who is stuck at work day and night. A person who arrives home at night collapses on the couch and doesn't even talk to me. Oh, for crying out loud, you know that I have a rough patch at work right now. I warned you about it. <sighs> I thought you understood. I thought so too, but two days ago I decided to surprise you. I made dinner, lit the candles, and you? And I arrived home late. Yes, you arrived at 1 a.m. I already put everything away and even fell asleep. I am sorry, I will pay more attention to you. Oh yeah, sure you will. You didn't even notice that I got the suitcases out, started packing them. You just walked on past them and didn't think to ask what the suitcases were doing in the middle of the living room. Damn, I'm sorry, I guess work is on my mind. Oh, you think? Well, now you have all the time in the world to think. I'm in the train already. Uh, where are you going to go? To my sister's place. I bought the ticket, grabbed Mia, and went to the station. I'm in the train already, although it arrived 15 minutes early. Get off the train. Find Mia and come out. I will ask for a day off and we will spend it together. Maybe I'll ask for a week or two off. We can go on holiday. <sighs> I am genuinely tired. Do you love me? Of course. Very much. You know this. I love you too. Ugh, I'm such an idiot. I figured that if I disappear from your life for some time, you will get scared and start to value me more. Ah, uh, but I do value you. Promise me that it will be different this time. I will do whatever I can to return to how it was before. 
I'm going to look for Mia. I think I'll find her in the next carriage. She really didn't want to get on this train. She growled, wide scratched. I bet he managed to get her through the door. Let me know when you find her and get off at the next stop. Max, I'm panicking. I cannot find the dog. And the train is weird. The windows are now blurry. I can't even see through them. What train is it? You got on it at our station? Yes, by our house. It's really humid inside and it stinks. That is very strange. What are the staff saying? There are no staff here and now the TV above the door turned on. It's showing something. They're showing a horror movie? That thing just said that there's an important announcement coming. Record an audio for me. Welcome to the train eater. But this is no ordinary train eater. Here, every carriage is a quest for survival. If you fail, you die. That is not a funny joke. I agree with you there. But what do I do? Just sit still, don't go to the next carriage. And the dog? Our Mia? What about her? Damn it, forgot about her. Um, try, try calling her. She's in the next carriage. I can hear her. I called her name and she barked in response. Right, go grab her and get off on the next stop. No quests. Am I clear? Yes. I'm going in. What's there? This is no carriage. This is an entire room. How is that possible? There's mirrors everywhere. Just mirrors. Strange. Do you see Mia? No, I called her name again, but she's quiet. Is there an exit there? I don't know. There's just mirrors here. Ask what you need to do. Maybe that creep from earlier will respond to you. I asked. And? I thought you'd never ask. And now, do you now believe that this is no ordinary train to reach the next stage? You will need to overcome your internal fears. Internal fears? What does he mean? I think I get it. Tell me then. My reflection is in all the mirrors, but they're all different. What? Uh, what do you mean? Like the one I'm looking at now. My reflection looks really fat, love handles, and my fingers are like sausages. And what does that mean? He's right. It does bother me. I was always scared of gaining weight. I think this is how I will end up if I stop taking care of myself. I didn't realize you were that worried about gaining weight. But don't worry. I will still love you. Really? Of course, silly girl. Beauty is just skin deep. You know that. Wait, as soon as you sent that, the reflection in the mirror returned to normal. I look like myself again. Is there anywhere you can go? Yes, I'm walking around. The reflections are different in every mirror. In the one, I'm homeless, begging for spare change. Here's another one. I'm in prison. Are all of these connected to your fears? None of them are real. I know, but I really am scared of becoming homeless. Everyone is scared of that. It is normal. I'm crying. What happened? In the one where I'm dressed in black, just crying. I'm a widow. She died. 
Calm down. That is normal too. I'm also scared of losing you. It turns out I have many fears. And we will discuss every last one. Just get out of there. I think I found a door. It's also a mirror. Let me guess. Another fear. Yes, but there's you and some other girl. She has short hair, a mark above her lip, and you're hugging her. That's Lisa. Who the hell is Lisa? My ex. I told you about her. You never told me she's that pretty. She is stunning. Well, yeah, uh, that's true. She's showing me a phone in the mirror. You have been messaging her for a long time. She messaged me last week, wanted to meet up. She wanted us to try again. What? And you never told me? Did you go meet her? Obviously not. I told her to get lost. I only love you. I was always scared that she is better than me. All your friends talk about her. Now I see why. Ah, let them talk, but I love you. I just yelled at the mirror that you love me, that she is in the past. Did it help? Yes, the mirror shattered. There is a door there. Do I go in? Well, we managed to beat this carriage. We will manage with the rest too. I'm in. That voice, it is back. The warm-up went quite well. Didn't think you'd manage that. Now, welcome to the carriage of phobias. Phobias? Max, I'm not ready. You have phobias? Oh god. I do. The first one is here. It's a dead horse. What? You're scared of dead horses? Yes. When I was a child, we used to go to the woods. Once I tripped and tumbled into the bushes and... And there was a dead horse there? Yes. I grabbed onto it and that prevented me from flying into the river. It was horrible. Those hollow eyes, bare teeth, ribs exposed. A horrid stench. I had nightmares about it for a year. And it is there now. Yes. It is coming towards me. Look. Creepy. You know what? Try giving it something. You have any food on you? I have some dog treats. Give them to the horse. Show it that you aren't scared. But I am scared. It will bite my hand off. It won't. All right, but note this. If you're wrong, you will have to love me even handless. Uh, I will love you regardless of how you look. Okay, I'm holding the treat out. He did not expect that. He is sniffing the palm of my hand. That is great. It will try the treats and fall in love with you. Max, it's eating. Awesome. It disappeared. What? It ate the treats, nodded at me, and disappeared like a puff of smoke. It is not here. Now, when you dream of it, it will no longer be a nightmare. I think you're right. Right. Did another door appear? It did, but I'm scared to go in. What if there is something horrible there? You managed this far. Now it will get easier. Rex, I'm drowning. What? I moved off and I fell to some kind of swamp. It's dark here, I can barely see, but I'm in some sticky muck. Damn it. The strain does not want to let you out. I'm sinking deeper and deeper. Grab onto the seats. Uh, I can't reach them. Max, I'm dying. 
I, I love you. I'm sorry that I behave like a child so often. Cut it out immediately. I have a plan. Do you have any treats left? Uh, yes. If you want me to eat one before I die. Uh, I always wondered what it tastes like since they're so expensive. Ugh, no. Pull them out and place them in your hand. Uh, what? Uh, are you crazy? Just do as I said. Uh, I got them out. I can't get my head high up though. I'm slowly sinking into this damn swamp. Wait. I can hear a sound. Something's coming from the darkness. It's the horse. How did you know? The amount of money we spend on those things. I had no doubt that the horse would come back for seconds. They must be really good. Ugh, I'm grabbing onto its mane. I'm putting my phone away. Max, I got out. The floor is solid again. Thank goodness. I grabbed onto its mane, then onto its neck, the phantom horse, then pulled me out. I cannot believe I just wrote that, but it's true. So I was right. Yes, you're smart. I'm glad you came up with that idea. Hold on, the voice is announcing something again. How I despise lovebirds. They keep saving one another. Why couldn't you just be single? Or at least divorced? Someone disappointed in love. I give up. From now on, it's up to the train. Are those good or bad news? No idea, but the place now looks like a normal carriage. I can see a door ahead. Go through, but be careful. It is locked, but that will not stop me. I can hear Mia on the other side. I can hear her. I hope it really is her and not some kind of trap. She's here. It's the head of train. I got in. Mia's here. The poor thing is in the corner. She's filthy and scared. Thank goodness. Is the train engineer there? Yes, but he's very strange. A chunk of meat with arms but no face. Is he alive? I called him. Looks like you heard me. What? He turned to face me and now ripped his arms from the ceiling. Max, I'm scared. Mia's whining. Is there anything to defend yourself with? Only my hand back. Don't give up! Fight him off! Max, he's asking for my phone, reaching out to it with his tentacles. Help me, human. I am infected with a virus inside me, an unknown creature now lives. One that transformed my carriages into a death quest. People died here. I just want to be a normal train eater. Will you help me? Uh, train? Yes, it is I. I will not harm your ghoul. I will let you go if you promise to destroy that thing inside of me. I promise you. Just don't touch her. She is safe in the head of the train. It will not get in here. But it is best you hurry. I will not be able to resist for long. It can unseal the door and then she will face the most terrifying challenge yet. She will not survive it. You have a cute dog. I saved it too. I would let them out now, but the parasite is controlling all the doors and windows. Thanks, buddy. My friends and I are leaving now. Where are you? Bax, it's me. This is unbelievable. A monster inside a monster. Will you help this train? I will definitely do whatever I can. Send me your location. Max, I love you. I love you too, Sophia. Can you ask the eater to protect you? I... I don't know how, but... I'll try to help it. I relayed the message. He nodded, and then it looked like he's crying. I guess that virus that infected him really is hurting him. But... We will sort him out. I'm waiting for your location. Mm. 
Sophia, we're here. Can you see us? No, I'm in the head of the train. I can't see anything. Right, forgot about that. We're on the platform, checking the train out. Who are you with? I called some buddies, the ones I do martial arts with. They agreed to come with. I hope that you guys will be able to help the train. We became friends whilst waiting for you. He typed messages to me on my phone. Awesome. You always made new friends in the unlikeliest of places. Ask him how he got infected. He said that a strange man got inside once. This train stopped eating people ages ago. He pretended to be broken, but the man didn't leave. Hmm. What happened then? He then felt that something was wrong in the last carriage. He lost consciousness. That's crazy. Yeah, when he woke up, he realized that she was infected. We smashed the window in the last carriage, peeked inside. What's there? Whoa, there's wires and cables everywhere, like a command center. There's a black cable going into the floor. I told the train eater he asked for the phone. He will message you now. You are correct, human. The tail end is his lair. He lives there and controls me. Under the floor, he has a tentacle which runs the length of the train. Only thing he couldn't reach was the head. I did not allow it. Listen up, I have an idea. But you might not like it. Speak, human. If we fasten the last carriage and ask you to lunge forward to rip it off, will you do it? It shall hurt, human, but I will survive. I can grow a new carriage in a few days. Alright, then when I give the sign, you lunge forward. Got that? Understood, human. Sophia, train. I will be offline for a bit. Sophia, we went under the train and managed to rip the cable from every single carriage. Good job. What next? We contacted the man in charge of the station. He got us a locomotive. It is now right behind the train eater. We attached the last carriage to it with chains. Whoa! You managed to get a lot done. That's because there's a lot of us here. Three were under the train, the rest were looking for chains and striking the deal. Gotcha. What next? When I give the signal, the train must launch forward. Got that? Okay, yeah. And... do it! Max, did it work? Yes! We managed to get that parasite out with its damned roots. Its cable-like tentacles are all over the place now. That thing did not expect this for sure. Thank you, human. I am in great pain, but I can feel the wind in my carriages once again. And no sign of an illness. I am letting your lady and your pet go. Be safe out there. Godspeed to you, buddy. Max, I'm free. He opened the doors and let Mia and I out. I see you. Walking towards you. I will never ever leave you again. And I will never let you go. I will be more attentive from now on. What's with the sirens? Some special team has arrived. It's written ASF on the side. I guess they need to destroy the virus. That is no longer our problem. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to ensure that you will be the first to see all the new content on the chat channel.